Fred Film Radio at the 80 Venice Film Festival, I'm Laura Della Corte. Today we are here with the director and the actors of Housekeeping for Beginners in the section Horizonte, Goran Stolevski and Alina Sarban. How are you? I am nervous, I'm happy, <laughs> I am grateful to be here. Beautiful. Yeah, too many feelings, all of them contradictory, but it's a wonderful feeling having them all at the yes. same time. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So before the deep question, I want to ask about a song at the beginning of the film. <laughs> Is that you that you choose that song? I mean, I, I'm a fan of Sarah Jo, so oh, I was, wow. yeah. Okay. So I was, you Which know. Was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, it was. Actually, the first time I heard that song, I'm like, this belongs in a movie. Um, and I had to find a way to put it in. And actually, when we shot that scene, and you know, we were very lucky to get permission, obviously. And when we shot that scene, it was just practice. It was the very first thing we did almost as a camera test for the three actors, who were three of the main actors, um, just to have them on set so the crew gets to know them, so they get to know what mm. it's like. Um, and we were just having fun. And it wasn't necessarily we'll see if it ends up in the film and then it ended up being the opening scene and it's still like the thrill I get from when that song comes on and these three rock stars yeah, <laughs> in my is, life come yeah, on. Yeah, it's amazing actually. It's yeah. a great moment for me. And I want to ask something about, you know, Alina, about your scene when you try to, you know, convince your um, your companion to take your daughters as their daughters and it's very hard for me to watch because you start to hurt yourself mm. in that scene. And uh, I can say that when we were watching it from, you know, the, the cinema, everyone goes like very silent in there. And so I wanted to ask you how it was for you to shoot that scene and how you, you, you know, you blanched this together to realize that. Um, I was just so happy and honored to give life to a, to a story about a Roma person, a Roma queer person, person yeah. who happens to deal with sickness, as we all do, as we all do, this is human. And, and the fact that she wants all, her, all the best for her children is so human. So for me, in all honesty, it wasn't hard to give life to something human, but it gave me even more responsibility and honor, uh, the fact that it happens to be a Roma character. And, and I am so happy that the world finally sees what it's life like for a Roma woman. Yeah. It's very normal, it's like all of you, but we need also to see Roma women in, in this situation. And I guess anybody would do everything that it stands in their power for their loves, loved ones, regardless yeah. if they're queer or not, Roma or not. So this is the universal human experience that, but we are missing this. So thank you, Goran. <laughs> really, yeah. really for putting Roma faces there, for, so for putting queer people and then the intersectionality of, of being a woman, yeah. of being queer, of being Roma, of being from Shutka. In, in, on, on the world plat platform. This is creating, this hopefully would create some change and make people exercise their um, empathy, their solidarity to other human beings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it's also like, the flip side for me is, mm. you know, the people I met, you know, firstly, just as people before we were exactly. working, you know, as artists or mm. actors um, on this was, you know, it was an electric experience genuinely from the beginning. Um, you know, this five year old Jada who plays the little girl Mia and, you know, from the moment I saw her just this fire in those eyes and you know, she's, she doesn't do what she's told. She's basically a director herself, is what I feel. She oh. was my co-director on yes. setting her okay. scenes. You know, but the thing is, there's an energy that comes from, you know, and I love working with new actors for this reason, that there's a rawness, mm -hmm. and, you know, when they're feeling joy, it's raw. When they're feeling pain, it's pain. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling it. They're, no, not, mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like acting. Mm -hmm. And to me, when I'm directing, I usually find, I, I do it instinctively, but, you know, I feel like also should, I always try to put myself in the emotional state of what the actor is going through. Mm. And when you're working with new actors, it's such a, you know, 
like you're feeling these feelings like for the first time. You know, the experience on set was already so amazing for me uh, that you know I was hoping the film would turn out good. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, it's, it was just you know it was just a joy. Um, even crying was a joy. I think. Yeah. <laughs> as we were saying. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with Thank us. You've well. been very nice. Thank and you, you know, we've been with, with Goran Stolevsky, the director of Housekeeping for Beginners, and the actress Alina Serban, Melora de la Corte for Fred the Festival Insider. Thank you so Thank much. You Thank, much. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.